Greetings from the Ocean Endeavour in Newfoundland, Canada. I am aboard an Adventure Canada cruise. Over the next 10 days, we will be circumnavigating Newfoundland, uh, which is an island off the east coast of Canada, approximately the size of Iceland. experienced every kind of weather you can possibly imagine from hail to sunshine and everything in between. So I decided uh, in the beautiful town of Conch that I wanted to get a good viewpoint. So I broke away from the tour group very briefly so I could uh, hike to the top of a, of a viewing platform. It just looked like a very simple set of stairs up a viewing platform. And so I thought, okay, well, that's, I can, uh, I, you know, I'll be well within sight. And I, I did that. And, and then at the top, from the top of the platform, I saw this, this trail and I'm like, oh, this little trail through the woods. I totally want to check out this little trail through the woods and, and, and I started going on it and I realized nobody knows I'm up here first of all and uh, and I could get missed and then I started seeing these gigantic prints in the in the uh, let's see if I can find one see these gigantic prints uh, <laughs> I, I don't know what that is but that was made by a very large creature that that could just be right up there right now and I thought you know um, maybe today's not the day for me to um, be mauled by a bear dearie dearie me it is a beautiful day in Newfoundland Then we had dinner uh, hosted by the residents of Conch in their community center, which was uh, fabulous. I mean, how these ladies kicked out dinner, a cod dinner for 180 people, I to this moment don't know, but it was a fabulous meal. We do look forward to when the cruise ship comes. You know, it, it just lifts our spirits and gives us the reason to keep on doing this and, and you know, doing wonderful things. So it's just absolutely wonderful. Then the tables were cleared away and the music and dancing began. And that is when I feel the spirit of Conch and the spirit of a small, tiny Newfoundland town such as Conch could come to life. And come to life they did, and so did a whole bunch of us along with it. So. Lanza Meadows was fascinating, very cold, very windy. Oh my god, it's so windy! <laughs> but a very fascinating way of seeing uh, the one and only uh, Norse outpost on North America. Red Bay is significant because uh, it is a Basque whaling station that to all the whales caught right here and processed right here provided lighting for almost all of Europe in the 1500s. Here on Saddle Island we have the ruins of one of many ships that came to their demise in this small harbor during fall storms often carrying uh, today's equivalent of millions and millions of dollars of whale oil.
Point is uh, a small town of about 300 people, as is most of the towns that we visited. Uh, but what makes it special is it is an access point for Gross Morne National Park. This is our third UNESCO World Heritage Site in three days, which is amazing. What makes Gross Morne National Park special is that it is one of the few places in the world where you can see the Earth's mantle and crust exposed. It was indeed a lot of fun. At However, there wasn't much to see because it looked kind of like this. Welcome to Grossmoor National Park in Newfoundland. Now, who is there to meet at Little Garia Bay? Well, not so many humans because there's no town, there's no roads, there's no hiking trails. But what there is, is pure, unadulterated Newfoundland nature. Morning from Fushi Bay. Fushi Bay is somewhere where you probably not only have not heard of, but likely will never go. Why? Because this is an expedition cruise and this is the first time Adventure Canada has been here. So this morning we're going to go for a zodiac ride exploring the fjord uh, and this afternoon we're going to land somewhere and do similar to yesterday uh, a little swerve around the landscape. Should be fun! first humans to uh, ever have set foot on uh, this particular piece of land. Now we summited, it was a, an intrepid group of us that summited, we summited that mountain. Now we're sailing away right now. That doesn't look very tall, nor rugged, and I assure you it is both tall and rugged. Uh, we were bushwhacking through, uh, I mean, bushes and trees that were chest height, uh, tromping through streams, uh, mushing through peat moss, and scrambling up rocks. Who made it to the very top and then realized we don't know how to get down because up wasn't easy and uh, down wasn't easy either. Uh, but I have never met a more enthusiastic and intrepid group of travelers than the people that I summited that mountain with uh, today. You are the coxy woxy dixy birds. Francois is not how I would choose to pronounce this word, which actually looks a lot more like Francois, uh, but that is another one of the idiosyncrasies of the Newfoundland uh, pronunciations and dialects. The sun was shining bright 
with not a cloud in sight as the captain sailed the ship into the bay. We heard the anchor drop and saw our arse tied to a rock, then went ashore for an afternoon of play. Some hiked to higher ground while others swerved to town, soaking up the beauty and the sun. This is France Then back onto the shore for tunes and tunes galore. We drank her up and had a barrel of fun. Coxy woxy dixie birds, you are the coxy woxy dixie birds. You're such a ball of fun, I don't want you to go home. You are the coxy woxy dixie birds. There's something about Francois that gets in under your skin and into your heart. There was something about that hike that we did yesterday and there was something about that party that we had in the evening uh, that where I experienced a, a form of hospitality that is heartwarming. Heartwarming is the best word for it. There's a lot of people I met uh, in Francois who showed up for a visit and ended up uh, buying a place there and they live there for at least part of the year. I'm actually in France right now. St. Pierre Miquelon is actually where we are piloting into uh, as I speak. So today is going to be a little bit of a switch because we will have a different kind of culture in St. Pierre Miquelon where we're going to explore this French island this morning, uh, which I'm very much looking forward to and I hope I can find a good croissant. Today we have a chance to say bonjour to France, then parlez-vous and have a taste of wine. But hail and all beware, it's a little different here. The restaurants all close at dinner time. You're such a ball of fun, I don't want you to go home. You are the coxy woxy dixie birds. By tomorrow morning, we'll be pulling into St. John's Harbor to cap off 10 days of sailing with Adventure Canada all around Newfoundland. We've officially made the entire circumnavigation and it, what an adventure it has been. The staff on board were not only a huge contingent of Newfoundlanders, which was amazing to get that cultural experience, but the sheer amount of expertise from geologists to naturalists, culturalists, linguists, uh, and beyond, really, uh, was amazing. Uh, and a great experience to connect myself and all the other passengers with the land, the nature, and the people of the place that we visited. So would I sail with Adventure Canada again? You bet. Let's see where the next trip will be.